So we'll start this week's class. And um, let's see. Um, maybe let me make this announcement first. Okay. Um, you will have one more homework assignment due next week. Um, that's from chapter four. Um, that's what I'll talk about today, sensitivity analysis. Um, we won't be able to go through um, many examples in today's lecture. Um, and when you go home, I'd like you guys to, because uh, the content you're going to learn today um, is not that easy and uh, need some memorizing. Okay, it's not like, it's, it's very different from those modeling parts that uh, once you understand how you analyze a problem, then you can do the model. This part you, meet, you need to memorize some things. Um, and uh, you, uh, really, you need to spend some time on the material. So when you go back, uh, look at those material, review them again, and then look at the homework. Okay, and uh, the other thing I want to talk about is case studies. Case studies are um, coming uh, with one due at the same time next week. Um, and that case study is from chapter three. Um, it's the modeling, uh, the LP modeling, okay. And uh, one thing I need you to do immediately after um, today's class is get connected with your team members, okay. Uh, let me show you, when you go to, um, when you go to your Moodle, you should be able to, so here, um, go to next, uh, which is this week's. Okay, so this week is a Moodle, and uh, go to um, perform, oh here, case study one, communication forum. If you click on it, um, you should be able to see Uh, oh, sorry. I logged in. <laughs> so, Caleb, you, you are in number team number one, right? You may notice there is a um, team member named uh, Dummy account. That's me. <laughs> okay. So, I created this as a student account so I can see what, what's happening on the student side. So um, I, right. Right. No. <laughs> it's Dummy. Dummy doesn't do anything. But uh, when you log in, you would be able to see. Okay, for example, I logged in as a dummy account in this case, and that dummy account is in number um, team number one. So when you log in, you should, should be able to see here, case study one team, and uh, if you are team two, then only team two discussion will show here. And you click inside it, and then you can just uh, um, start to communicate. And that's one way to find out which team you are. So when you go back today, or you can even do it um, during the break, um, go to this uh, forum, so it's called the case study one communication forum in this week's content. Okay, go there, you, you will find out uh, which team you are in, and then just say hi there. So, okay, I'm, I'm Shima. Um, hi, oh no, Shima's not here. <laughs> in the other, so I, I'm, hi, I'm Becca. Um, nice to meet you guys. And everyone just say hi so you know who your team members are, and uh, start to communicate there. And back to this, uh, uh, here, get connected. Um, second, give your team a name. Um, give some meaningful word or a any name you want for the appropriate names. Okay, so <laughs> give your team a name and uh, later you will use this name for your team, all the team assignments throughout the semester. Okay, and uh, uh, make a presentation choice. So here, go back to, mm, go back to Moodle again. Here, there is a choice. Here, um, make your case presentation choice because there are four cases. Um, chapter three, oh sorry, yeah, chapter three, four, five, and six. Um, one team will present one case. All the teams will perform case study report, case study analysis, and turning a report for all four cases. But you only choose one case to give the presentation. Okay, so talk to your teammates and say, okay, which case you want to. Um, present, and then you make your choice. Okay, and once you make the choice, once you select the case, then that case will um, not be available for other teams to choose. Um, and uh, I've already put the advantages, disadvantages here. So advantages for choosing, say like earlier cases would be, they are easier, um, and you get something done, they are out of your way. Um, and uh, if you choose later, but uh, disadvantages will be like, you would be the first person, 
first team testing the water. Um, so maybe after you look at more presentations by the other teams, you know, oh, maybe we can improve in this, and other team may give you some ideas. So that's kind of like a disadvantage. You don't have any people before you presenting. Um, but if, uh, if you are pretty good at uh, giving presentations and uh, you know um, what to talk about, then um, just feel free to, to volunteer for earlier case. Okay, but you can, um, um, I, I think like my suggestion is based on your um, um, schedule. So which, which one works best? Okay, okay. Um, so that's, uh, that's about the team. Um, and uh, because case one is due next week, so I need one team to volunteer for this case one um, very soon. Okay, so um, because you have to choose a case, so if you choose, if you are decided, okay, we're going to do this the first case, then um, you get started earlier. Uh, don't wait until the last team that everyone make the choice, and the only case one is left for you team, and you start to prepare it. Um, that would be the worst case. Okay, um, and. Here, this thing is what I want to emphasize. Move all, all your main com communication from emails to the Moodle forums. Okay, what, what did I mean? When you go to your Moodle again, okay. Here is a case one communication forum. That's where I ask you guys to just go there, say hi to your team member. Um, every time, say like uh, in the email, you want to say share some document. Say, say like you okay. First, the communication. Let's uh, let's figure out the time to meet. Uh, usually, you send the emails, right? Um, put them here. Just say okay. Let's figure out the time to meet. And then when you after you meet, so you decide on something. Say okay. Um, uh, Beckham is going to um, develop the model for this part and. Uh, 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 Bashu is going to say write the introduction of the report, uh, and who's going to that? Um, you you put the responsibility assigned in this forum too. Okay, kind of like a brief meeting um, summary, and then usually what you do will be you go maybe work on yourself, and you have this part ready, right? And you send email to your teammates, say okay, here is what I have um, um, comments or like make suggestions things. Um, then you don't use emails, you just put them here. Because in the forum you are able to upload the files, okay. So you just upload the files there and um, have those main communication there. Um, if you if your main com communication uh, happens during those team meetings, uh, um, maybe just uh, briefly summarize uh, like the responsibilities you assigned and uh, uh, whether it's, um, it's accomplished or not. Um, purpose of this is uh, because eventually I'll ask you guys to evaluate your team members' contributions. And uh, um, I also go there to check to see if everyone contributed to uh, um, to this project. I mean, to this uh, case study, a fair version, a, a fair, a fair part of that. Okay, okay. Um, because I've had the students um, before coming complaining, uh, one of the teammates just didn't do anything. It it will happen in real world too, right? So here you have some records. Okay. Um, this part I did this, and that part he did. Um, it, it does not have to be like everyone have to be okay. Um, so three person team, right? Does not have to be everyone contribute one third to the modeling and one third to the writing, one third to to like the report the presentation. As long as you distribute the job fairly among yourselves, and you did the part that's assigned to you, um, then it's I'm fine with that. Okay. Okay, so that's, uh, that's for this communication um, forum. And uh, uh, follow the guidelines in developing your case study report. Again, that's in the uh, report. And uh, uh, I got one example um, case study report from one of my previous students. Um, I just got it this afternoon and I'll upload it to it here. But to make sure you check this report guideline. I put it very, uh, very clearly. Um, things you you should do and things you should not do. Okay, I expect you to read this, really read this before you developing your um, report, because I've seen things that I put here do not do this and uh, that appear exactly on the report. Okay, so refrain from doing that. That's the guideline. 
And out, as I said, I'll put the example here so you can check out the example. So that's the announcement I want to make.